What it do? It's your boy Black Benjis. I'm bringing y'all another vlog today. Now, basically, I just want to talk about the benefits that I have been experiencing through meditation and sun gazing. So, I'm just gonna name a few pros. Uh, I really don't notice any cons. Well, it could be some cons for certain people, but I don't look at them as cons. I just look at them as like facts. So you can't look at the things that you think bad as a bad thing. You got to look at them as just straight facts. Say your girl cheated on you. That's straight facts. It's not a bad thing. It's just straight facts. So, I mean, I ain't going through none of this shit right now. Maybe. I don't know. I ain't no telling. But the thing is, okay, so this is what meditation does for you. I started meditating when I went to Austin, Texas um, for the second time. And the first time I went was in 2017. The second time I went was in 2019. When I went in 2019, I started meditating. The things that instantly started happening after I started meditating was the fact that I got a job quickly. And then I started meditating more and I ended up with two jobs. So I feel like when I meditate, that's what I work towards. Having two jobs and a little extra income on the side no matter what's going on. Now... I recently just got another job, and one job pays me eleven dollars an hour, and the other job pays me nine fifty. The job that's paying me nine fifty an hour, I'm gonna have to get transferred to another location, which is like literally right around the corner. But y'all see me chilling in my house or whatever, and I'm on top of my car, trying to get a little sun, but the clouds blocking out the sun, so I can't sun gaze. Even though I was just doing it before I did this video to like. Man, use the effects of the sun gazing to make the video because I wasn't gonna do this at first, but I want to show y'all something. And I'm just like the message behind meditating is the fact that it's never too late. That's message number one. It's never too late to um get your life right. Um, uh, now okay. sitting on my shit. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get out the top of my look. They go the sun right there. It's coming back up. Y'all probably can't see it, but I know y'all see my face and shit like that. Now, this is what I want to show y'all. Um, the thing that gets you meditating, you know what I'm saying? Well, not the thing that gets you meditating, but meditation gets you places like this. Now, just last year, I didn't have no car. Just last year, I didn't have nowhere to lay my head. Now I started meditating a couple months. I got both of those. I got a place, I got a car and a place to lay my head. And, you know, it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? My little house, my little crib or whatever. And got me a Mercedes Benz. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's materialistic, but at the same time, it ain't even nothing that I was aiming to get. It was just whatever I came up with through meditation. So my inner self gave me the Benz in the house. I didn't do it. The person I was talking to in my head through those meditations and shit, when I thought it wasn't going to get no better, it didn't do nothing but get better. So, yeah, man. Um, another thing, I also get, like, a good amount of sunlight inside my house, too. Make sure my door is locked. This motherfucker standing outside watching me vlog and shit. So, um, you know, it just that... Uh, these keys, bro. These keys are the one thing that gets on my nerves because I don't know which is which. All of them the same. Three keys, same color. But, um, yeah, the benefits of meditation, bro, is nice. Like, this is me. You know what I'm saying? This is all me. And, bro, it's just manifested through meditation. It's just as simple as that. Motherfuckers be really thinking that something's wrong with me. I don't know what's up with that backyard, though, bro. I got to do a little something to that. You know what I'm saying? I got to do a little something to my backyard. But other than that, man, I'm living. Like, I'm living a life that I want to live at the moment. And that's all that matters is the fact that you are in the moment with yourself. You should always be in the moment with yourself because you don't know when your time is coming. Somebody can pull up right out here. You know what I'm saying? Right here and just talk, talk, let off shots and I'm gone. Life goes on. Life continues. I'm just here to leave my message and leave my mark. Now, I'm going to start classifying myself as a gypsy. Now, basically, a gypsy is like 
in my own terms, and I'm gonna use a, some of the words from Google, and I know they be like, stop Googling shit. But I mean, like, if you're looking for the definition of a word, bro, instead of looking up like some real deep shit, and you're looking up the definition of a word, you can use Google. But you can't use Google for everything because Google is kind of biased. It's based on what they want to show you, so it makes sense why not to use Google all the time. Now, I've been trying to get on a dark web, but I don't really know how to work that shit, so I'm going to need somebody to like help me out or whatever. But this is what I was saying. like I get a good amount of sun like inside of my room, and as you see, the sun is like right there beaming inside of my room. So, you know what I'm saying? Got me a little bed, got a little TV, and, you know, I'm just living life, man. Like, I'm just enjoying myself. I'm proud of who I am today. And, like I said, that's all that really matters. So, another thing, I want to talk about mirror gazing. How do you do it? What's the benefits of it? Now, another thing. I started mirror gazing in Texas. I haven't been mirror gazing ever since I've been back because, honestly, bro, I thought I was ready for it. Look at this sunlight, dog. Look, look how bright it is in here. You, you just see how bright. Like, that's my sun gazer right there. I can sun gaze from inside of my room. Lovely. Lovely. It's just lovely. So, oh, yeah, by the way, that's how you get your skin, like, so detailed. Um, I got, like, a little gray hair right here. I don't know if y'all can tell. But I told y'all be getting off subject about shit, so y'all got to excuse me. But, okay, so mirror gazing, right? Man, this sun feels so good. It's all in my shit right now. Look at this, bro. Like, I'm just sitting in one spot in the mirror, and the sun is, like, beaming on me. So, um, the thing about that is mirror gazing, it teaches you how to love yourself. Now, what do you mean by it teaches you how to love yourself? You know that song Michael, by Michael Jackson? I'm starting with the band in the mirror. He was so serious, bro. You got to literally get in into the mirror. You got to look at yourself. You got to get in the mirror and look at yourself and appreciate yourself for who you are. That will make your life so much easier. It's like, it's like subconscious magic, bro. That's basically what it is. It's like subconscious magic. That's what I'm going to start calling all of these blessings in the sky. Ooh. Ouch. Man, I couldn't get my finger out there, Jack. It's one of my old Little Caesar shirts. I used to work at Little Caesar in Detroit or whatever. But... One thing about me, dog, I'm a hardworking guy, bro. That's not going to change about me. I'm going to make sure that I'm straight. I'm going to make sure that I stay on top of my shit. Because that's what you got to do to make sure you good this year. If you don't do that, bro, believe me, you will catch yourself in a situation you really do not want to be in. And that is not a good situation. Trust me. I know from experience, bro. That's not what y'all want. Um, So mirror gazing. You start off in the mirror by appreciating yourself. So you look in your eyes. You look into your own soul. Like how I'm looking in the camera, you should be in the mirror looking at your eyes that detailed. What you should do, you should start off by saying, I love myself. I am successful. I am a positive, multidimensional being. You got to speak whatever you believe into your soul. And you're going to get that feedback right from your soul. Now, I give you about two to three minutes and you'll start noticing something. I'm not gonna tell you what, but you're gonna notice it, right? Do it for about 10 minutes, 10 minutes flat. You you mirror gaze for 10 minutes flat. You're gonna start to notice that like your body parts are uneven. You're gonna start to notice your body parts are uneven. No cap. Like my eyes, it's hard to tell but they're uneven. I think this eye is lower than this eye. So this one sits up a little higher. See what I mean? Like right here and then right here. If you pay attention, like, it, like you can't see it through a video, obviously. But if you in the mirror looking dead at yourself, you will see the difference. Um, another thing, meditation, sun gazing, and mirror gazing, it makes you an alpha, bro. Now, I bet y'all be probably laughing at my ass right now. Like, this nigga ain't no alpha. Trust me, bro. Like, I'm not going to say I'm an alpha, bro, but I understand the concepts of being one. And honestly, that's kind of a lifestyle that I want to take on because I feel like it's a challenge to one of my purposes in life. You know, uh, I ain't going to go too detailed about that because this is not 
about being an alpha male. This is about being yourself and unleashing your true potential. Now, another thing about having potential, it's not good to have too much potential just sit there on your body like that. Because what it does is you're going to start to realize how much potential you got and you're not going to do shit with it. You're going to be like, yeah, I know I could do this. Yeah, I, can, I know I could do this. I know I could do this. Yeah, you know all of this, but you still ain't like made a decision to like do nothing about it when you first knew about it. So I feel like that's like being disrespectful to yourself to notice that, oh, my body's telling me I have the potential to do this, yet you voluntarily sit there and not do nothing about it. So the lifestyle that I live, bro, is this, this is the lifestyle that I chose to live. And I promise you, I'm enjoying every last second of it. No cap. Now, this is the lifestyle that I have today has been accomplished through lessons I've learned in the past. I'm going to say this again. The lifestyle I live today have come from lessons that I learned from in the past. And honestly, bro, I'm speaking like that's an affirmation, but you know what I'm saying? That's for, that's for another video or whatever. Shout out to Spiritual Soul, my birthday twin. He in this bitch. No cap. Same birthday, bro. October 4th. Don't do me, bro. I already know I'm a chosen one. And can't nobody else tell me that I'm not. So, I'm not being cocky. I'm just being confident in who I am. You got to question everything. You got to make sure you're not... You can't just make sure you're not wrong, but you got to question if you are wrong or right. Like, even if you're right, you should still want to know or make sure that you're right. Oh, two plus two is four. Hmm... Let me make sure. So you go just ask questions and you wander around with, you know what I'm saying, a different variety of aspects from your analysis. Um, I know it's probably hard for y'all to keep up with me on what I'm saying, bro. But basically, all I'm telling y'all, dude, stay in the sun, man. Get you some sun because it's cold out here. It's literally cold as fuck. Y'all saw me. I had two jackets on. I had a jean jacket and a Memphis hoodie on. Bro, it's getting too cold out here. But when that sun come out, use that sun to the advantage. Because these clouds, when they cover up the sun, it's blocking your information. Shout out to spiritual soul. It's blocking your information. Now, what I do want to tell y'all is that, man, I just want to inspire some of y'all to just become as confident as I am. Like, I'm living in a city where not too many people got that confidence. Or if they do got confidence, they take it to a point to where they think they just got all of the shit down pack. And trust me, bro, as long as you live in this third dimensional, you know what I'm saying, world, you're not going to know what you really need to know. You only going to know what they want you to know. As far as going to school, 12 years, being trapped. If you don't go to school, your parents go to jail. What type of shit is that? Because they're trying to trap you. They're trying to program your mind. And my uncle been telling me this way beyond so Illuminati even starting his spiritual journey. I thought my uncle was crazy. But once I saw somebody like, as like once I saw an inspiration like so Illuminati telling me this shit, bro, I knew off the rip. I knew off the fucking rip that this shit was real. So this your boy Black Benji's and uh, just stay healthy, man. Drink a lot of water. Stay on your shit, bro. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Believe in yourself. All right? Black Benjis, signing up.